hi witches so i'm going to preface this video with um i have a stomach bug of some kind so i apologize for being like low energy and also looking like this i just i really wanted to get this video done um for today to keep up with my project because i am very determined um so i just wanted to start off by saying i'm sorry for how like low energy this is gonna be i'm just exhausted i haven't slept in like for more than an hour at a time basically for like 24 hours um but it doesn't really matter. It's fine. We're here. We're good. It's all good. Um, I wanted to say hi and thank you so much, like from the bottom of my heart to uh, my newest patron, Anna. Like I appreciate you so hard. Like I am now officially making over a hundred dollars a month on Patreon, which is a bill. Like that is a bill. So you guys are really like actively helping me make this reality for me. And I am just so thankful to you. Um, Patreon, like, monthly readings went out today, so please check your inboxes, um, and if you're at the $30 tier, there's been a little bit of a rearrangement as to, like, what content is being, um, added to that. I'm trying to make it more accessible to, like, international people because I found out that, like, shipping to international companies is, like, stupid expensive right now because the postal service just like hates me i guess um but i'm trying to make it a little bit more accessible to people so the advanced witch tier on my patreon you get access to private classes um and we're starting one on deity work starting this week so or today i guess um so that video will be up in a couple hours and you should get the worksheet that goes along with the first uh class so definitely check that out it is on my website, so check out Patreon, yeah. Um, anyways, I wanted just to delve into the topic that we are talking about today. So in November, we're going to be tackling the topic of shadow work. We're gonna do two weeks of like journaling prompts where we kinda, I'm just gonna have an open dialogue with you guys. Um, and then that'll be going from the new moon to the full moon. The full moon will do some magic. Um, and then the last like couple days of the month, cause I think the full moon's on like the 20th or something. So the last 10 days, we're gonna be talking about self care. So. I know I've talked about both of these at length already, but I think it's like very good to start talking about them now. Um, we're kind of entering the darker quarter of the year. So like November, December, January. Um, and then with Imolk on February 1st, we're kind of entering into spring. So during that last, like those three months, it's like very, it's a very introspective time of year. So I think it's good to do this now. Whereas in the spring, kind of like that late winter, early spring, I focused a lot on self care. Now I want to work on shadow work. Um, so I'm going to talk about that now. If you haven't seen my video already, I do have a full video about shadow work, so I'm going to kind of keep this brief, but I do want to touch on a couple topics. Um, if you are interested in learning more about it, I'm going to link my video down below. So just go ahead and watch that. You can pause this video now, watch it, and come back if you would like. Do whatever you would like, but things will be linked, yes. Um, okay, so what is shadow work? So shadow work is basically introspective thought or exercises that are done to confront one's shadow self. What is a shadow self? The shadow is the kind of darker side of one's personality. So that is all of your rage, envy, just negative thought, thoughts of like imposter syndrome or inferiority, anything just like negative um, that you don't really like to think about that you know you do. Um, that is your shadow self. Shadow self is basically born through trauma. We all experience trauma throughout our lives. Um, and this is, I should back up a little bit. I'm sorry, my brain's like not right. So please go watch the actual video I did on shadow work. Um, this is a concept that comes out of psychology that has been kind of like co-opted and like used in witchcraft. I think it is a valid practice. Um, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit more tomorrow when I'm hopefully a little bit like more sunshiny in my normal self. Um, but it is a psychological concept started by Carl Jung um, and it is the idea that you have this kind of dark side of your personality that needs to be dealt with in order to um, facilitate personal growth. So a lot of witches have kind of like taken that and used it in their practice to great success. Um, so that's why we're talking about it. Um, so anyways, a lot of us grew up in a ho household that really split emotions into like good emotions and bad emotions. So like happy is good, angry is bad. It didn't matter why you were angry, you just weren't allowed to be angry at stuff. Maybe that was just me, maybe that's just the household I grew up in, but that was definitely my reality. Um, when you start to look at like anger and sadness and guilt and blah, 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 as like negative traits, you start to kind of repress them and like not acknowledge them. And that creates this kind of like shadowy self for you. So for example, if a child throws a tantrum and a parent reacts negatively to it and like punishes them instead of getting to the core, like the root problem as to why they're upset, they're just gonna take that like anger and just like shove it down and like have this like wound in them where it's like, oh, my parent didn't comfort me when I was afraid or angry or whatever. 
they punished me for um, expressing my emotions in the way that I knew. So this is like coming from a very young age. Obviously, I understand that like toddlers are not that eloquent, um, but that's kind of like where this concept comes from. And I think a lot of us have that kind of like wounded child, right? So at least I do, I know that. Now, when I first learned about shadow work, I was like, I think that's just therapy because I was doing that kind of stuff when I was in therapy. So if this sounds similar to you, likely if you have been to therapy, you've done some sort of like inner like soul searching and introspection. So this is just kind of a, um, facilitate shadow work in witchcraft is kind of just that but like focused and more in I guess in line with your like witchcraft versus yourself though people do it for themselves um and a lot of the times people will journal they will meditate about stuff um they will practice spell work um in order to kind of move on from these wounds so that would include spell work like banishing releasing um cord cutting anything like that that is used a lot um in terms of um like shadow work so yeah there's a lot of different avenues for confronting trauma in witchcraft and i think that's why um witches choose to do shadow work in order to like kind of better themselves and better themselves in a spiritual way. Another thing I've seen a lot on the internet is people saying like their deities like are working with them on shadow work, which is a very valid practice. Um, I don't know why I did that. I'm obviously not with it today, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but there are deities. I know Lilith is one of them. Um, the Morgan has helped me a lot. Um, just to like kind of confront and overcome your shadow work. So if you see people who are just like, and she wanted me to do shadow work, like I get where they're coming from. I totally do. Cause like shadow work is not something that is meant to comfort you. It is a practice that is meant to make you uncomfortable so you can confront what you are not confronting like in your conscious life. So, um, it's like very targeted work that you are doing for yourself. We're going to talk a little bit more about like why I think you should be doing this with therapy tomorrow. But um, yeah, people do use their deities, use their deities. To, people do work with their deities on shadow work as well. So if that is something that you're interested in incorporating in your practice, it is super valid and something that a lot of people do. So um, yeah, that is my little like spiel. I know, again, this video is not super duper long. Please go watch the other one. I'm I know it's way better than that because I'm not like nauseous in it. Um, so yeah, we are definitely going to be spending a lot more time and I'm hoping that I can go into a little bit more of what I mean tomorrow when my head is like screwed on properly. Um, but yes, so like I was kind of saying, um, we're going to be having a discussion on shadow work, the new moon, we're going to be doing some magic. We're going to have a bunch of different prompts where I'm having like more conversational videos and showing you examples of how to do shadow work. We'll celebrate the full moon together and then we'll do some self-care magic because self-care and shadow work do go hand in hand and it is important to practice both at the same time. So um, again, that is my spiel. I'm sorry it's so short. I'm gonna go back and lay down. I will see you guys tomorrow.